So howdy, howdy, hello. Thank you for tuning in. Um, uh, yeah, very happy everybody's here. Um, it's uh, been another uh, insane week, I guess, is about all I can say. All the news still kind of uh, drifting in about what actually happened with the attack on the um, nation's capital last week. It's just horrifying and insane. But uh, um, uh, as I've said before, I don't think anybody tunes in to hear me talk about that. Uh, um, if anything, you tune in for a little break from that. That's been all the news, so I won't talk anymore. About that right now, but uh, um, uh, I'll sing some songs. And again, very happy that you're all here. Uh, some of you may notice that I'm playing a different guitar this week. My uh, my Martin uh, D35 is in uh, for a little repair again. My friend Sammy's working on it, but uh, um, uh, the binding had come off again. Just something that happens with older guitars. The binding shrinks and the wood doesn't, so the binding pops off after a while, but has to be repaired and re-glued. But uh, this is a guitar that I built um, a number of years ago, probably prob more than 10 years ago. I can't really remember exactly, but uh, um, and I play. it's a wonderful guitar. It's a beautiful sounding guitar. I don't know if you can really tell. I built this from a kit. There's a couple of different companies. Martin Guitars actually sells a kit, uh, and you can assemble them. Most of the parts are cut out, roughed out, There's a, but there's still a lot of work involved, a lot of assembly, and uh, much more than I imagined when I got started. But um, they were doing a class. I helped get the whole thing organized at the Fret House with a, a local uh, luthier, Mark Geiger, um, and, uh, and the owner of the Fred House both uh, were teaching and they take about 16 or 15 or 16 people in downstairs the big concert room and everybody would set up and work on their guitars and they would, uh, Mark and Tom would go around and guide everybody. So after they did about three or four classes they let me do one which was very kind and I built this guitar uh, and then uh, I played it a lot for a number of years, and then uh, uh, it needed some work. And so I put it in a case, of course, instead of doing the work, and uh, um, was playing my other guitars all this time. I have two other guitars, Martin. I have not a lot of guitars, but I have uh, three acoustic guitars that I play a lot play all the time. Two Martins, a D18 and a D35, and this guitar, which, as I said, I hadn't played a lot. Um, and this is a mahogany uh, body and back and sides guitar, and so it's kind of reminiscent. It's much like a D18. It's voiced like a D18 for any guitar nerds out there. But anyhow, my uh, my D my D18 was is still needs some work also, and my D35 was in getting some work done, so I pulled this one out. And I'll do a few songs. This uh, first song is off uh, not my latest album, but the album before this. Um, uh, uh, the the uh, the album's called "The Town Where I Live." This is the first song on the album. This is called "Goodbye Alberta." And we'll send that out, this out to all of our friends in uh, uh, north of the border, in Alberta and all across Canada. Uh, things are still wild and crazy down here. We may show up on the doorstep up there at any time. So please keep the welcome mat open, although I know it's not out right now. Uh, anyhow, this is called Goodbye Alberta. Goodbye, Alberta, I hope your troubles pass. Goodbye, Alberta, they were never gone last. The rain's let up, the clouds have broke, my bags are packed and stashed. Goodbye, Alberta, the storms are fading fast. 
When I lay down to sleep last night, the rain poured on my head. Thunder rolled on through the night, I believed I'd wake up dead. Alberta, she's a fine one, her heart's both strong and true. She'll never leave you crying or turn her back on you. Goodbye, Alberta. I hope your troubles pass. Goodbye, Alberta. They were never gonna last. The rain's let up, the clouds are broke, my bags are packed and stashed. Goodbye, Alberta. The storms are fading fast. Last night, I turned from side to side. Could not rest, I could not sleep. I was just dissatisfied. Alberta, Alberta, don't cry your tears for me. I'll be back, I will be back, that I guarantee. Goodbye, Alberta. I hope your troubles pass. Goodbye, Alberta. They were never gone last. The rain's lit up, the clouds are broke, my bags are packed and stashed. Goodbye, Alberta. The storms are fading fast. Goodbye, Alberta. Goodbye, Alberta. Goodbye, Alberta. The storms are fading fast. Thank you, baby. So, uh, the big news still this week, uh, of course, my new album is out. Susie has told me that when I hold it up, I'm kind of holding it far away and shaking it. So I'm trying to get the reflection off of it. Um, it's called Love and Desperation. came out in October, but uh, um, it's, uh, it's still continuing to get just really just wonderful, uh, very kind and very generous reviews, and I'm, I'm just so happy about that. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, the promotion, uh, here in the States is sort of winding down. Uh, we're, I think we're going to continue with the radio promotion a little bit longer, but it's just now being, um, uh, promoted in Ireland and the UK. So I'm getting, uh, reviews and airplay from, uh, um, Overland, Ireland and the UK and some in Europe. And, uh, the other really big news is that it's going to be released in uh, Italy on the Appaloosa label. So I'm very happy about that, very excited about that. And it's available from me at my website or any online music sellers that you are know, you know of and prefer. I'm gonna do a couple of songs off of the new album. This first one is called uh, um, Blues at Midnight. Blues at midnight, blues at dawn, the blues have been with me ever since you've been gone. I can't seem to shake them, they just keep hanging on. Blues at midnight ever since you've been gone.
can't stop from crying I can't get no sleep I can't lose these memories Now they're just mine to keep The train of the distance With the long, lonesome moan Reminds me my baby left me here all alone I toss and turn And I walk the floor I can't believe you won't come home anymore The night winds whisper A sad lonesome song Blues at midnight ever since you've been gone. Blues at midnight ever since you've been gone. I toss and turn And I walk the floor I can't believe you won't come home anymore The night winds whisper A sad lonesome song Blues at midnight ever since you've been gone Blues at midnight ever since you've been gone Blues at midnight Blues at dawn The blues have been with me ever since you've been gone I can't seem to shake them they just keep hanging on Blues at midnight ever since you've been gone Blues at midnight ever since you've been gone Thank you, baby. Thank you all. Sort of a torchy kind of a, I don't know, that song reminds me of a, one of those torchy sort of bluesy sort of shuffles that uh, Patsy Cline was so good at. So, um, one of the... I'm not sure if I got it on your artist page. Oh, uh, I'm sure you... That's yeah, all right. Yeah. Susie has been uh, sharing uh, the show or, or trying to... It's always a little complicated. I was doing it from here for a few weeks, but uh, I kind of talked her into doing it, so I'm sure it's fine. But uh, one of the more heartbreaking things of the last year, I was starting to say for, for me and for Susie and I, is uh, um, uh, we lost a dear friend, uh, Lawton Giles, and uh, um, uh, Lawton had a pretty amazing songwriting career. He recorded, or he wrote uh, a, a handful of three or four songs that were recorded by Patsy Cline and a number of other people. Most famously, uh, Let the Teardrops Fall. Um, and, uh, and a number of others. But uh, Lawton was a dear friend. Uh, I recorded many of his demos with him and uh, um, and other things, did little sort of informal sort of gigs and everything. But he passed away this last year and uh, we, because of the whole pandemic thing, could not uh, attend the memorial. I saw that there were some people there, but uh, we chose not to. It just seems too dangerous. But. 
So that was a real heartbreak, but uh, um, let me move on here. And uh, this is another song off of the new album. This is uh, this song has been getting a, re a wonderful response in reviews and people that I talk to. Um, this song, the lyric, was written by my friend Kim Ringer, uh, who lives up in Fresno. Kim, I uh, hope you're doing well. Kim has had some health issues, and I hope you're doing well. hope you're feeling good now. Kim is uh, uh, her, um, the daughter of the great uh, California uh, folk and country sort of singer-songwriter Jim Ringer. And uh, um, uh, so, you know, Kim is Jim's daughter. And she sent me the lyric to this song uh, sometime in the last, I don't know, year or so. And uh, I kind of finished it off with a melody and some of the words uh, and included it on the new album. And as I said, it's been getting a wonderful response mentioned in many of the reviews. I don't know if you've been looking at the reviews, Kim. So this is called She Sang of the Earth. Well, there's a little place out the desert way Folks would laugh and guitars play Songs were sung and stories they were told He came one day to that nowhere place Sat right down when he saw her face She sang to him and the words were made of gold She sang of the earth, she sang of the sky She sang of hello and she sang of goodbye She sang of the people all the days gone past. She sang of the moon, she sang of the stars, and we not dancing in a rundown bar. And she sang of the time disappearing, oh, so fast. Well, he sat down and he joined in. He sang of heaven and he sang of sin. And all the different people he had known their voices joined in harmony they sang of you and they sang of me and of all the places that he had yet to go she sang of the earth she sang of the sky she sang of hello she sang of goodbye she sang of the people of all the days gone past she sang of the moon, she sang of the stars, and lay not dancing in a rundown bar, and she sang of the time disappearing oh so fast. He woke up, she was gone. There were different singers singing different songs. And the time had come for him to be on his way. Maybe he'll pass his way again. He wandered off like he wandered in. After all, it's not like him to stay. She sang of the earth, she sang of the sky, she sang of hello, she sang of goodbye, she sang of the people and of all the days gone past. She sang of the moon, she sang of the stars, and lay not dancing in a rundown bar, and she sang of the time disappearing oh so fast. She sang of the earth, she sang of the sky, she sang of hello, she sang of goodbye, she sang of the time. We got that part. She sang of the moon, she sang of the stars, and lay night dancing in a rundown bar, she sang of the time disappearing oh so fast. Yeah, 
There's a little place out the desert way Folks would laugh and guitars play Songs were sung and stories they were told Thank you, baby. My honey says that's pretty. That's all I need. My honey likes the song. I'm, I'm good. So Katie's going to come over here because she thinks it's treat time. It ain't quite. And she knows it. But uh, she thinks she can get me cornered. And uh, not surprisingly, it works. So uh, don't sniff my crotch. Katie's a crotch sniffer. Been uh, trying to break her of that for six or seven years now. And don't seem very much closer to, to it. I guess there's a lot of information down there that she feels like she needs to check out. I don't know. So I think I'm doing the wrong song here. So the other big news here, Katie spun my set list around, but... Um, it's been very, very hot here the last few days. Um, and uh, it was 80 degrees today, I think up to 90 yesterday. We're out in shorts and barefoot again. Just crazy. It's like July, except the um, uh, sun goes down at 4.30 and it gets a lot colder at night. So. And the Rams were playing in uh, um, Green Bay. <laughs> and they did okay. What was the final on that? They actually oh, did. Green, Green Bay won. Yeah, Green Bay won, but the Rams did okay, right? They had a great conversion. They had a pretty sneaky conversion. I'm not a big sports watcher. I wander in and out of the games. And Susie fills me in. So anyhow... Green Bay, Wisconsin, as you know, it's like 17 degrees there. I think I read earlier that in one of the games they played at one point, it was like 34 below, and the Ram, poor Rams from Southern California had to go up. If they ever put a dome, if they ever cover that stadium, that the Green Bay team will lose a decided advantage that they have. Nobody can go play up there in that one. So I'm going to do a song uh, um, uh, off of uh, The Town Where I Live, and this is a song called The Town Where I Live, and this one goes out to anybody that's kind of been down on their luck, looking for work, having a tough time. It's a place I think we all end up in uh, at some point in our lives, and just nothing looks good like this. Well, the town where I live, man, is ragged and old. Too hot in the summer and the winter's too cold. The daytimes are weary and the night brings you down. You can waste your whole life in this ragged old town. Yeah, it works hard to find in the town where I live, and it all seems to a lot more than it gives they say you're too young or they say you're too old or the job's just been filled boy you're moving too slow hey with well, the town where i live man is ragged and old too hot in summer and the winter's too cold the daytimes are weary and the night brings you down could waste your whole life in this ragged old town. Man, I feel like a ghost. In this town where I live Hanging out and hanging on Taking all I can get Sometimes I wonder why I hang around here But if you 
You ain't got much choice, man, your choice is real clear. I might catch a ride, or I might jump a train, but I'd just be someplace where it all looked the same. Hey, with well, the town where I live, man, is ragged and old. Too hot in summer and the winter's too cold. The daytime's a weary and the night brings you down. You could waste your whole life in this ragged old town. Hey, with well, the town where I live, man, is ragged and old. Too hot in the summer and the winter's too cold. The daytime's a weary and the night brings you down. You could waste your whole life in this ragged old town. Yeah, you could waste your whole life in this ragged old town. You could waste your whole goddamn life in this ragged old town. Thank you, baby. So it's hard times for a lot of folks these days. Tremendously hard times. There's a couple of food banks in our neighborhood that uh, we haven't had to visit ourselves, but uh, we've driven by and seen the lines. So. Uh, I'll do a song from a few albums ago. The song is about my great-grandfather, who was the first in my line of our line of Shays to emigrate here to the States. Uh, he was the first to enlist in the uh, uh, Union Army from the state of New Hampshire, and he was captured and held at a couple of prisoner, prisoner of war camps uh, um, uh, first, uh, Libby Prison and Bell. I had to go over the lyric to remember. Libby Prison and Bell Isle. He was held at both of those. So he used to tell a story that uh, um, while he was there, of course, he was a kid. He was not much more than a kid, uh, and so far away from his home where he grew up, heartbroken, sick, uh, everything you could imagine, just horrifying conditions in prisoner of war camps. Uh, and he uh, told a story that was kind of handed down, family story, that uh, um, he was there one day and he was out sort of towards the outside fence of the camp and he was singing just to kind of relieve his heartache, just singing a song, an Irish song. Uh, and uh, a, a young girl outside the camp heard him singing. And uh, she was from, from County Kerry also, where he's from. Uh, Ken Mayer in County Kerry, and uh, um, she heard him singing. She recognized the song. She came up to the fence, and they started to talk and became friendly. And after that point, she began to sneak him food, is what he said. And he says that's the only reason that he survived the prisoner of war camp there. Uh, and so... All of us, his descendants, are here for the sake of the song. We have his, uh, up on my wall, we have his uh, discharge uh, document. Um, uh, it's kind of about all we have. Actually, I have a couple of photos that came, turned up in the last few years. So. My, uh, my friend Will Seifert helped me make, a, or pff, he didn't help me. All I did, he did the whole video. All I did was contribute the song, but uh, made a wonderful video of this song. Uh, that's on my website if you would ever like to look at it. This is called John Shea from Ken Mayer. Well, I traveled here from old Ken Mayer. My name, it is John Shea. In these words, I sing the reason that I'm standing here today. At Port Hudson, I was in the rear, and they took us by surprise. First to Libby Prison, then to Rod there at Bell Isle. Yeah, the 8th Regiment from Nashua, an oath I signed in blood. To a camp that's filled with cholera, pleurisy, and mud. 
4,000 men they brought here, 400 that remain. And every day's a struggle with the hunger, cold, and pain. Well, I wish I was on yonder hill, because there I'd go cry my fill, and every tear would turn a mill. Yeah, they took our boots, they took our coats, no blankets could be found. And the dead were left for days on end to rot there on the ground. No wood to build a fire, black water from a ditch. And them that dared to speak a word would feel the trigger's itch. Yeah, well, I would have perished there, I know, so broken and alone. Far from the streets of old Kenmare, my family and my home. But for a young girl near the camp who heard me sing this song, she ventured close and asked my name and whispered to be strong. Well, I wish I was on yonder hill. Cause there I'd go, cry my fill, and every tear would turn a mill. Shoo, 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 la Well, I stand here now to testify to the horror that I've seen. And my life I owe to that young girl and the bread she brought to me. Hidden there at such a risk by branches, rocks, and leaves. A young girl from County Kerry is the reason that I'm free. Yeah, well, I traveled here from old Kenmare. My name, it is John Shea. And these words I sing, the reason that I'm standing here today. And all that follows from me, and follows from them too, too, follows from them too, sorry. Should be glad to hear the words of this sad, mournful tune. Well, I wish I was. On yonder hill, cause there I'd go and cry my fill, and every tear would turn a mill. Got tangled up on that one, sorry about that. So I, I, you might have noticed, some of you may have noticed that the, um, the chorus, the refrain there is um, taken from the old Irish song, Shula Rune, and kind of I reworked it to uh, fit it into this song. A number of years ago, I was on stage in Liverpool, actually, at Woody Guthrie night. I was there with my friends Peter and Gabby. Wonderful evening at a pub there, um, and uh, I was in the process, I, I kind of talked about that song, I was in the process of writing it, and I um, kind of talked about it in the, you know, as I was introducing a different song, and afterwards an Irish fellow came up to me at the bar, and he said, you know, uh, the song that they, that uh, uh, your grandfather may have heard, that uh, she may have been singing, might have been Shula Roon. Sort of got a bit of a uh, anti-war sentiment. Uh, it's a popular song at the time too. So.
So, uh, I don't know if looking over my shoulder here, any of you noticed that the, uh, the clock that we usually have on the mantle, pointed the wrong way, uh, is not there. And that's because our grandson, my grandson Liam and I broke it yesterday. He's uh, kind of keen. He was over yesterday, and he's been kind of keen on it. He likes to hear it chime and everything. So I'll pick him up, and I'll open the door, and we'll kind of, I'll kind of turn the uh, uh, the dials and make it chime and everything. And I, uh, I showed him that you could reach in there and uh, kind of hit the little knocker that hits the chimes, you know, and, and make it chime on your own and everything. So yesterday, I was kind of holding him up there, and he reached in there, and uh, he started um, banging around on the pendulum, and. Uh, being the excellent granddad that I am, I let him do it. And uh, so then he gave it a real whack and knocked it across the room. So uh, now I got to figure out how it fits back in there. But then the clock started unwinding in the craziest way. It sped up. It seemed like it slowed down. At one point, honestly, I thought it was going backwards. And so it was just chiming irregularly all night long. And we kept waiting for it to wind down. And uh, uh, eventually, Sue, today, Susie got tired of it and put it out in the garage. So, but uh, it had, um, I don't know, it kind of sort of fit everything in my mind that we've been going through for the last year. So it was like, who knows what time it is half of the time. <laughs> I hope, but my son Jesse just kind of wrote a comment. He said, oh, it's actually broken. I don't think it's, it, I'm hoping it's not broken. I think it just has to be kind of put back together. But uh... there's a little family story that also goes with that. My, uh, um, my son Jesse that just commented uh, when he was little, and they were down at my, uh, at my dad's house, at his granddad's. My dad had built from a kit, um, a standalone uh, grandfather clock, and spent a lot of time on it about, I don't know how long, but uh, he had it in the hallway there. And, it's going to be a buzzer of old fashioned. <laughs> and so um, he, uh, he did the same thing. He asked, hey, you want to go help me rewind the grandfather clock? This is my dad talking to my son, Jesse. And Jesse was, I don't know, he was walking pretty slow. He was about two years old at the time or something, year and a half. A little bit older. Two or two and a half. So he says, yeah, yeah, Grant. So they walk over, and my dad opens up the case. And before my dad can really do anything or think about anything, Jesse reached in there and grabbed the pendulums and yanked them, and they all came out. They all spun out onto the bottom of the cabinet. And uh, my dad just stood there and kind of shook his head. And uh, that's kind of the end of that. Uh, um, I don't think my dad had it in him to take the clock apart completely and reassemble it, which is what it would have needed at that point. So I'm not even sure where the clock ended up. So I guess what goes around comes around. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to do another old Irish song. Is one that I love. This is called uh, Whiskey in the Jar. Colonel Pepper in his money he was counting. I drew forth my pistols and I rattled out my saber, singing, Stand and deliver, for I am a bold deceiver, mush riggum, durum da. Whack full to daddy o, whack full to daddy o, there's whiskey. Them bright and shiny coins, 
They sure look fat and jolly. So I put them in my pocket. I took them home to Molly. She laughed and she swore she never would deceive me. But the devil's in the women. They always lie so easy. Mush or rig them, dur them, die. Whack for the daddy o, whack for the daddy o. There's whiskey. I woke between the hours of six and seven With guards standing around me and numbers odd and even I flew to my pistols, but alas, I was mistaken For Molly hid my pistols in a prison I was taken Was she rig them, dur em die Whack for the daddy-o, whack for the daddy-o There's whiskey Well, they put me in a jail without a judge or jury for robbing Colonel Pepper in the morning, bright and early. But they didn't take my fists, so I knocked down a sentry. Bid a fond farewell to that cold penitentiary, mush or rig em, dur em die. Whack for the daddy o, whack for the daddy o, there's whiskey. There's some that take the life in carriages or roll. There's some that take the life in the lawns and the bowl. Me, I take the life in the fruit of the barley. Courting pretty women in the morning, bright and early, mush or rig em, dur em die. Whack for the daddy o, whack for the daddy o, there's whiskey. Whack for the daddy o, there's whiskey in the jar. Whack for the daddy o, there's whiskey in the jar. Thank you very much. So I'll do a song off of um, again off of the town where I live, which came out in. I believe 2017, so three years ago, four years ago. This is called Sweet Little Mama. This is a blues. Sweet Little Mama. Who does your light shine on? Sweet little mama, who does your light shine on? Well, I'm standing in the shadows, all I ever had is gone. Sugar in the morning will last the whole day through. Sugar in the morning will last the whole day through. Yeah, 
sugar in my coffee Baby tastes just like you I'm going to the city when nobody knows my name. I'm going to the city when nobody knows my name. All the streets are full of strangers and everybody looks the same Tell me, little mama, where did you stay last night? Tell me, little mama, where did you stay last night? Did you stop to think about me when you turned out the light? Little mama, who does your light shine on? Sweet little mama, who does your light shine on? Well, I'm standing in the shadows, all I ever had gone yeah, well I'm standing in the shadows all I ever had is gone Thank you, baby. So the other big news from this week, I'm going to hold up the album cover again and try and get it so that it's not so reflecting. I don't know if I can do it. Susie is kind of giving me guidance. So anyhow, I've started on a new uh, um, video this week. I posted some photos um, on Facebook from the shoot. So my a uh, good friend, Ron Resnick, came out from 29 Palms, where he lives. Uh, from 29 Palms, he actually has to drive through Joshua Tree National Park to get down to the Salton Sea, which is not a bad drive. Uh, it's, it's not a fast drive, but uh, it's a very scenic drive. And uh, my friend, Dina Wolf Garen who uh, actually lives down in Salton, in the Salton Sea area. I forget the little community, the name of the little community, but uh, she came also, and uh, Ron manned the camera and uh, had the vision. And 
and uh, Dina helped out. Uh, they kind of uh, coordinated earlier before we went out there about some locations, since Dina knows the area. And then all I had to do was show up and lip sync to the recording about uh, three or four dozen times, which is a bit of work, but, uh, um, uh, you know, I mean... So it's for this next song, Big Rain is Coming, Mama. So uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the footage. So uh, um, Ron showed me a few photos, and uh, I mean, I was there. I was seeing everything, and uh, it looked pretty great. It was a beautiful day. The light was beautiful in, the, in all the settings and, and locations and everything. But uh, um, he showed me photos which captured a lot that I was not seeing. So uh, he's got some magic in his eyes or his hands or his camera. Um, so this song's called Big Rain Is Coming Mama on the new album. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, it's sort of, I mean, it's, it's about storms and, you know, uh, it would kind of be, you know, if you were living on the, you know, the Louisiana coast or Alabama or anywhere down along the coast there, Texas, um, a record number of storms this last year, but it's also got sort of an apocalyptic uh, sort of vision, I guess, about it. Uh, and I wrote it during the last year, kind of as the, we were all living through this all sort of close to apocalyptic future that uh, sort of grazed by us all, I guess, hopefully. We're not quite through yet, folks, but... I'm a hopeful guy, knocking on the closest piece of wood I have here. Old Joe Biden was not my first choice, was not my, uh, um, but uh, I've been just completely happy with everything he has presented, how he's presented himself. I could not be happier. I hope some of you are happy. Kamala Harris was actually my first choice, uh, senator from here in California. And, uh, but she dropped out of the race early, and I think there's a story there, and uh, I hope it comes out someday. I told Susie that uh, um, when she dropped out, I said, I bet they're talking to her. I, not that I'm a visionary or really can see the future or anything like that. I said, I bet they're talking to her about being Joe Biden's running mate. Anyhow, I'm getting way off track here. This song is called Big Rain is Coming, Mama. Where the big rain is coming, mama, start to batten it down. Hey, the rich folks all leaving, the big boats already left town. Well, I got a rusty old bucket and a busted old knife. Don't look like much, but it might save your life. Big rain is coming, mama, better start to batten it down. Hey, the big wind is blowing, Mama. The leaves all starting to fly. You better close up your windows. Bring all your chickens inside. It starts with a whisper, turns into a scream. Things start to shaking like you've never seen. Big wind is blowing, Mama. The leaves all starting to fly. And mama, the water started to rise. You better start to take cover, try to find a place you can hide. 
Hey, let go of your grievances, it's time to move on. Say a little prayer, mama, we might all be gone. Big storm's coming, mama, the water started to rise. The big rain is coming, mama. Better start to batten it down. Hey, the rich folks all leaving. The big boat's already left town. Well, I got a rusty old bucket and a busted old knife. Don't look like much, but it might save your life. Big rain's coming, mama. Better start to batten it down. Well, I got a busted old bucket and a rusty old knife. Don't look like much, but it might save your life, mama. Big rain is coming, mama. Better start to batten it down. Hey, the big rain is coming, mama. Better start to batten it down. Hey, the big rain is coming, mama. Better start to batten it down. one goes out to Liam because he dances up a storm on that song. They say he was dancing. So I'm going to do a couple of songs for my little Susie. She uh, puts up with me, which uh, um, puts her in gold status metal territory up there by itself. But uh, And then she does so much more. This is a song on the new album. I've written Su Susie's, you know, kind of found her way into many, many of my songs. Her and her family, I've talked about this before, uh, um, my family was kind of like this. Well, my dad was in the service, so we moved around the country, so we were kind of separated from uh, extended family, which was all up in New England, his family in Nashua and Boston area, and my mom's family, who we never really knew. Uh, another whole strange story there, but uh, they were all out on Long Island, Long Island, um, but, uh, um, so we were kind of, and it was a fairly dysfunctional little, our family was a fairly dysfunctional little unit and, uh, moving around the country by ourselves. So, uh, when I kind of, um, started, uh, going with Susie and hanging out, and, um, you know, and, you know, being sort of invited in, I guess, to this whole large extended family, which, you know, all has been in the same area, same Inland, Empi in Inland Empire, San Bernardino area for, at that time, for many, many, many generations. They've, at this point, started to scatter out the way. The young ones always move on, but uh, at that point, they were all still in the same area. There was something going on every weekend. So uh, it was kind of a new experience to me. So... Uh, and a wonderful experience, and they've always been tremendously kind and loving, and uh, and they've put up me, with me also. So. Anyhow, this is a song that I put on the new album. Uh, it's I had, as I was saying, I'd written uh, songs about Susie, and she'd certainly featured in songs, but I hadn't written like a proper, what I considered a proper love song. So I wrote this song, and this is on the new album. This is called A Tender Hearted Love. can see it in her eyes, in her soft and gentle touch, the way she'll tease you with a smile, just a little not too much. When I'm alone in the dark, I just can't find my way. 
she's there to show me the light and softly call out my name she's a tender-hearted love a tender-hearted love there's nothing here or up above like a tender-hearted love On a sweet magnolia morning all the blossoms on the trees is a simple kind of wonder in every single thing she sees when I'm alone in the dark I just can't find my way she's there to show me the light softly call out my name she's a tender-hearted love a tender-hearted love there's nothing here or up above it's like a tender-hearted love She's a tender-hearted love, a tender-hearted love. There's nothing here or up above. It's like a tender-hearted love. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 Sha la 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 You're welcome, baby. I got a smile out of my baby. So, uh, I'll do another song that I wrote about Susie. This is called Sweet Little Pocha. And pocha is a word, it's kind of a slang word, I think. Uh, um, uh, it's, it's just, it means uh, a Latina, Latino uh, person uh, that, uh, or Mexican person. It's just a little bit more Americanized than traditional, I guess. And uh, the way I understand it, my uh, mother-in-law, Jenny, is listening, and I think that uh, she's the one that may have told me this, that uh, originally it was kind of used uh, sort of uh, in an unfriendly way from people that thought they were more traditional, and they were kind of directing it at uh, people that were less traditional, you know, um, uh, Mexican people that were living here and, and living, you know, kind of, you know, adopting more of the, uh, uh, you know, American culture, I guess, so... And I have mixed feelings about that either way. I hate to see any uh, um, uh, culture sort of start to disappear, but it is what happens, and there's not much you can do about it. Uh, um, the whole culture has changed a ton just in the time that I've been alive, so there's really not anything you can do about it. Um, but uh, um, the interesting thing about it was the people that uh, this was being directed at as pocha in an unfriendly way just kind of adopted it for themselves and just said, yeah, that's what I am. I'm, I'm a pocha. I'm a pocho. So that's the way I understand that story. Correct me, Jenny, if I'm wrong. Uh, my mother-in-law, Jenny, says pocha equals uh, what it means is born here. So uh, there's another meaning for it there. So I hope mine isn't totally incorrect. 
So anyhow, this song is called Sweet Little Pocha, and it kind of talks about Susie and her family. And uh, um, most of this I took from stories that I have heard. I kind of nicked this little intro guitar lick, at least part of it, from a song that... Uh, at the time, I was working with Rosie Flores, my friend R Rosie Flores, uh, you know, kind of off and on when she'd be in California. I'd do some gigs with her, and um, uh, then afterwards I was, and I, I talked to Rosie about writing this song with me, and even go, gave her a co-write on this song because of this lick, but uh, I wrote the song, and, I, and I, I kind of worked out that lick, and I thought, wow, that's a cool lick. I really liked it, and I was playing the song, and then after a little while, I realized it was kind of, at least part of it I had nicked from uh, one of Rosie's songs. So, uh, you know, I got in touch with her and I talked to her about it. And Rosie, of course, is a very generous and gracious person. And she says, hey, it's a guitar lick, you know. And uh, But I gave her a, a credit on the writing of the song anyhow. So this is Sweet Little Pocha. little smile, a wrinkle on her chin, sexy little giggle, it puts me in a spin. She listens to her mother talking Spanish, but she'll never reply. She's quick to change her story if you catch her in a bind. Sweeter than a cupcake till you step over the line. Raspers from the freezer for the kids on the 4th of July. She knows every single cousin and every birthday All the old stories and how they used to play Everybody loves to see her She always brings a kiss and a smile She's a perfect little blossom from a perfect little bud A crazy little angel straight from heaven above She's my sweet little poacher The only girl that I'll ever love can spot a bargain quicker than a wink. Shove it in her pocket before you even blink. Helps her mama sell tamales and fortunes at a table outside. She loves the Gary Cooper and Hedy Lamar. Every old film and every old star. She cries when she hears a mariachi, but I never know why. Start to get a little bit jealous When she gets that little look in her eye I start to think about what I did I start to looking for a place to hide She's a perfect little blossom from a perfect little bud A crazy little angel straight from heaven above She's my sweet little poacher The only girl that I'll ever love Chorizo for breakfast, salsa in a cup Homemade tortillas, I can never get enough She's my sweet little poacher, the only girl that I'll ever love She's my sweet little poacher, the only girl that I'll ever love She's my sweet little poacher, the only girl that I'll ever love So that one goes out to my baby too. When I wrote that song and recorded it, I was uh, um, uh, playing shows with my friend Tony Zamora a lot in his band, um, Tremoloco, and Juan Chacon was there. And uh, I know we played that song a number of times. And Juan, Juan, Juan has passed away very sadly, just tragic. But uh, um, uh, Juan really liked that song, Sweet Little Poacher, and he said, Wow, that's such a great song, Rick. He said, boy, you know, 
you, God, you write that song about your wife, and you know, she must really love that. She must really get a kick out of that. And I had to say, you know, Juan, you never get the mileage out of these things that you think you're gonna get. And he understood Juan's a married man, or was a married man. Oh, we got some uh, names for me to read, don't we? Yeah. So these are some people that are listening. Let me uh, read off a few people. We thank, I thank everybody so much and uh, apologize to anybody we may have missed. Uh, Jesse, Nikki, and Liam out there in Rancho Cucamonga, my sister Joy in Rialto, and my, uh, um, my mother-in-law Jenny, as I said earlier, who uh, I call her Jenny, but I also call her Guggum quite often because that's what the first uh, granddaughter, uh, when she was trying to say grandma, she, it came out as Guggum, and so she's been called that uh, um, by all of the kids and by me and a lot of the grown-ups for, um, since then. So Bill Kuhn up there in uh, um, Seattle. Bill, I hope you're doing good, part of the train tribe. Randall Stewart, uh, thanks so much for tuning in, Randall. I miss you so much. Everybody, Randall's a good friend that came to, comes to so many shows here in Southern California. Uh, Cheryl, we got your, uh, um, Cheryl was trying to figure out how to do Zell. Cheryl, it worked. We got it. Thank you very much. Martha uh, Rowley up there in the Northeast Corridor, as I say, uh, um, up there in uh, um, uh, Saxton's River, Vermont. Uh, Martha, I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everything's good and not too cold up there. My sister Cindy up in Sparks, Nevada with her uh, Reno area, for those that don't know Sparks, um, and uh, her husband, my brother-in-law, Jim, and often the baby, Kessie, uh, who belongs to uh, um, Darcy and Mike, who are also listening a lot of the time. Uh, howdy to all of you family up there in uh, Reno, Sparks area. Bob Ellis, Robert Ellis, part of the train tribe down there in Houston area. Um, uh, my dear friend Evangeline in Silver City, who's helped me so much with the show here and all of my digital media and everything. Um, uh, Evangeline, love you so much. Um, Abhi Maharaj, Ab Abby, oh, um, uh, wonderful, wonderful singer in, if, uh, um, in Orange County. So glad you're listening. Dina the Wolf out there in uh, the um, uh, uh, Salton Sea area, Dina the Helped us on the video. Thank you, Dina, for tuning in. My sister Barbara in Alabama, Abilama, um, and all of her family. They tune in up there at the lake. They have a lake house, so they've been uh, um, uh, tuning in up there when they can. Mondo from uh, uh, Los Lobos, Armando Tavares. Um, Mondo, thanks so much for listening. Please say hello to all of the guys for me. Um, Helen Chambers up there in uh, the northwest, far northwest um, uh, um, in uh, Vancouver area. Mark Heffington, uh, Helen also part of the train tribe, yes. And Mark Heffington up there in Big Bear, uh, snowy and icy, so probably not anymore. It's probably all melted after 80 degree days. Teresa Schul, Robert Dunling out there in Highland area of uh, San Bernardino. Um, uh, Bill Ta William Taggart, Bill Taggart in Nottingham. Uh, um, uh, in the UK. Bill, how are you? Uh, um, uh, I started getting friend requests from you again, and I thought we were already connected. Are we hooked up on... I don't know if we're hooked up. Send me a message. Uh, Mike Carm? K-A-R-M. Mike, how are you doing? I'm so glad you're listening. Judy Bertino Rojas, uh, so glad you're listening. I don't know where the two... And Glenn Meir... Um, all Facebook friends. Billy Truitt, we used to play gigs together. It's been a long time, Billy. I hope you're doing good. Wonderful guitar player. Chris Cook, uh, also we played gigs together. Chris, a wonderful drummer and much more than that. Alex Griggs. Alex, I'm glad you're listening. Paul J. Thompson. Uh, Chris Chris Klingman. Uh, I'm not reading your writing or other. Sorry. Um, Chris, I'm so glad you're listening. Wendy Rittermall. Down there in Long Beach area, I believe. Shelly Fetterman, who uh, um, has been to... Uh, um, anyhow, she's up there in the Fresno area. If she's not on her ranch down there by Bakersfield. Shelly, also part of the train tribe. Bonnie Braun, part of the train tribe in Arizona. Lightning Willie, an amazing, wonderful entertainer and musician here in Southern California in uh, Monrovia area, I believe. Lightning Willie, it's good to 
so glad you're tuning in. Mike Donahue up there in uh, Chicago world. Mike, part of the Train Tribe. Ch Chad Druton, uh, so glad you're uh, um, uh, listening. Spirit in Nicopolis, I'm so glad you're listening. Tommy Salcedo over on the west side. Um, Tommy, hope you're doing good. Jamie Tuhill, Fred Gruchala, Drew Trent, Kathy, and, uh, and Jeff Kervink. Um, I always forget to mention you. I'm so glad you're tuning in. Been faithful listeners for so long down in La Habra Heights, I believe. Gary Elfering, my friend Gary Goldmine, that we played gigs together. And uh, um, he's up there in Chicago area also. Melanie Yunk, um, uh, who is the younger sister of one of my good friends, uh, um, Greg from high school. Melanie, I'm so glad you're doing, you're listening, and I hope you and your mom are doing good. Um, I think she's up north somewhere. Um, uh, um, uh, Terry and Dan down there in uh, um, Oceanside, I'm so glad you're tuned in. Hope you, oh, and here's Eunice Haran. Um, uh, Melanie's mom. I'm hope, I'm so glad you're listening. And Mark Gibson. So those are what Susie wrote down for this week. If we missed you, we're so glad you're listening. Please uh, leave a message if you can. Oh, I'm going to do um, uh, a song that my mother-in-law Jenny wrote. This is a beautiful song. It's called It's called Porque Te Vas. Why do you leave? You know how much I love you. You know how much I need you. Um, uh, she came into the kitchen in the other house that we lived in a couple of miles away. It was a long time ago. And uh, said, you want to hear a song that I wrote? And she sang this. And it was just beautiful and heartbreaking. And I said, yes. And then I said, would you sing it again and let me record it? And she did. And, uh, um, and then I talked to her and we wrote the bridge together. And I figured out the chords, I think, with my my friend Wyman. but uh, And recorded it for the first album that I released on CD. Uh, it's called The Buffalo Show, a wonderful album. I still have copies. Uh, we recorded it in my friend Gary Mandel's uh, living room uh, late at night over the course of about nine months or a year. It took a long time because of work schedules. And uh, got many, many, many wonderful reviews. Uh, that album was actually uh, top 20 on the Americana charts for a number of weeks uh, did just tremendously well. Uh, it was it, it was wonderful, but uh, um, uh, anyhow, kind of going around a little bit. But this song uh, was I, I I put this song on that album. This is called Porque Te Vas. Let me do that a little bit better. Porque te vas? Porque te vas? Ca sabiendo que te quiero, sabiendo que me muero, porque te vas? Porque te vas, cariño de mi vida, sabiendo que te quiero, sabiendo que me muero. Porque te vas. Si tu te vas, que voy a ser, tu sabes sin ti, no puedo seguir, porque te vas, porque te vas. 
sabiendo que te quiero, sabiendo que me muero, porque te va. ¿Por qué te vas? Cariño de mi vida Sabiendo que te quiero Sabiendo que me muero ¿Por qué te vas? Porque te vas. Porque te vas. That goes out to everybody that's left us, which is more and more all the time. I'm sorry, very sorry to say, sad to say. So I'll do another song that's from. That album, The Buffalo Show, um, and uh, this is called Que Mas Quieres, and this, uh, this phrase comes from, it's something I used to hear my father-in-law Johnny say when he, they would come over to the house, he and my mother-in-law Jenny, um, they spoke Spanish to each other, not so much to the kids. Uh, but I used to hear him use this phrase, que mas quieres, que mas puedo hacer. It means, what more do you want? What else can I do? And they seemed like wise words for a married man to learn in any language. So you know the words to the chorus here, sing along. I've sang this song all over the world and I had an audience in the Czech Republic outside of Prague that did not speak English for the most part. I had a translator up there for uh, um, a lot of what I was saying. But uh, um, uh, so a non-English speaking au um, audience, I had them singing along wonderfully in Spanish. It was an amazing thing. So uh, about three or 400 people. So uh, that's where the bar is set. Think of it as the Olympics and sing along on this. Forgive and forget Que mas quieres Que mas puedo hacer Tell me what do you want Here comes Katie Baby please hear my prayers You Que mas quieres Que mas puedo hacer Let me prove that I love you let me prove that I care. But you know I still love you 
that much can't be denied Oh, please say you'll come back Everything is okay Girl, what more do you want? Girl, what more can I say? K mas quieres, K mas puedo hacer. Tell me what do you want? Baby, please hear my prayers. You K mas quieres, K mas puedo hacer. Let me prove that I love you. Let me prove that I care. You came mas quieres. Que mas puedo hacer. Tell me what do you want. Baby, please hear my prayers. You came mas quieres. Que mas puedo hacer. Let me prove that I love you. Let me prove that I care. Thank you very much, Kamos Quieras, off of the Buffalo Show. Wait, I still need my capo. So, uh, as I talked about at the very beginning, uh, just unbelievable, horrifying, and insane things in the attack on the nation's capital that we've been hearing about for the past week. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, we're living through history, folks. I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm, I, I'm just, you know, I'm as horrified as anyone. Uh, I don't have any answers. I did write this song um, uh, about two years ago when things were w at whatever stage they were at two years ago. This is called The World's Gone Crazy. And uh, uh, my friend Ron Resnick... Helped me make a video for this song, and um, uh, we made two versions. Ron made a version, and I thought it was just a little bit. I asked him to dial it back. I said, Ron, I don't know, man. We better just dial this back a little bit more. And uh, now after the last week, the last two weeks, uh, I guess we should have maybe dialed it up. <laughs> I don't know. So this is called The World's Gone Crazy. gone crazy the world's gone crazy the world's gone crazy you'd better hold on to the ones that you love you know I walked through the garden I walked through the valley And I walked through the city Yet yeah, troubles all over this world Yeah, the world's gone crazy The world's gone crazy The world's gone crazy You'd better hold on to the ones that you love. Hold on to your brother. Hold on to your sister. Hold on to your mother. 
Yeah, everybody better just hold on Yeah, the world's gone crazy The world's gone crazy The world's gone crazy You'd better hold on to the ones that you love You better talk to the lawyer. You better talk to the preacher. You better talk to the governor. Yeah, people need some love right now. Yeah, the world's gone crazy. The world's gone crazy The world's gone crazy You better hold on to the ones that you love Yeah, the world's gone crazy The world's gone crazy Hold on to the ones that you love You better hold on to the ones that you love You better hold on to the ones that you love Hold on to the ones that you love, folks we still got a ways to go. So I'm going to do a few more songs. I'm going to sing uh, um, the Woody Guthrie song, This Land is Your Land, with all of the verses and choruses after this next song. But uh, um, So get ready for that. And we'll be singing uh, the um, Canadian chorus. So if you need to look that up, look it up. My friend Linda McRae hipped me to that. I didn't, she's, uh, um, Linda is from Alberta. She's from uh, Canada. And uh, we were doing a show together. My friend Evangeline was producing, in fact, um, up in Lake Tahoe a couple of years ago, a few years ago. It was at the beginning of all of this. <laughs> and we were at that time trying to think of something appropriate to sing. And uh, so I suggested uh, this land is your land. And I had copies of some of the, some of the wor words, the lyrics in my, uh, along with me. And uh, Linda suggested singing the uh, um, the Canadian chorus, and she did, and it was wonderful and lovely, and I've got it with me. And Linda is an amazing artist, wonderful artist, well worth looking up. She's moved to the Nashville area now. I think she was up in the Northwest, Alberta, states Northwest, and then now she's in uh, Nashville. But just an amazing artist. Uh, songwriter, crafts, per I can't even describe her. It's wonderful stories, wonderful storyteller. But anyhow, I'm going to do this song first, which is one of my favorite Bob Dylan songs called I Shall Be Released, and it's kind of what we've all been uh, going through here for the last year, waiting to be released, I guess. I don't know what it is, folks, but... Uh, Sing along with this if you know it. They say everything can be replaced. And every distance is not real. But still I remember every face. Of 
Is every man who put me here I see my light come shining From the west down to the east Any day now Any day now I shall be released They say every man needs protection Say that every man must fall But still I swear I see my reflection Somewhere so high above this wall I see my light come shining From the west down to the east Any day now Any day now I shall be released Yonder stands a man in this lonely crowd A man who swears he's not to blame All day long I hear him crying so loud Just crying out that he was framed I see my light come shining From the west down to the east Any day now, any day now I shall be Any day now, any day now, I shall be released. That powerful song, Richard Manuel, from the band, of course, but uh, um, uh, I also looked up the Jimmy, Jimmy LaFave uh sings that song. That's a song made for Jimmy LaFave's voice. Uh, just bring a tear to your eye. Look that up if you get a minute. And hopefully you liked my version. So thank you, baby. Um, so as I said, I'm going to sing. Uh, let me get the words around. Katie comes over and messes up my set list, my lyrics. My cow. But uh, um, every couple of years, this song gets talked about as a replacement uh, for the national anthem. Uh, this is uh, um, Woody Guthrie's iconic, epic song, This Land is Your Land. And it certainly has my vote, all of my votes, however many of them want to give me, uh, uh, for the national anthem. I just am not a fan of the song, and I don't want to get unpatriotic or stir anybody up. I know it is the national anthem, but I mean, come on, it's just a song and somebody picked it. That's all that happened. At some point in history, somebody picked that song. And if you know anything about business or know anything about politics, you know that it's not often the most qualified people that are making these choices for us. So I'm off my soapbox now. So anyhow, it's just a song, and I don't care for the song at all, and it's kind of unsingable, 
for most people. And now in the last 8, 10, 12, 15 years, it's turned into this singing spectacle where the people that are singing it have to break their voices in all these crazy places and uh, people murder it, massacre it. It's just like, get rid of it. It's trying to die. So this song talks about everything that we should hold dear as far as our country. Anyhow, I was back on my soapbox there. Sorry about that. So sing along if you can. This land is your land. This land is my land. California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream water. This land was made for you and me. As I was walking that ribbon of highway, I saw above me that endless skyway. Saw below me that golden valley. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. California, the New York Island, the Redwood Forest, to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. I've roamed and rambled and followed my footsteps, the sparkling sands of her diamond deserts, and all around me. A voice was sounding This land was made for you and me This land is your land This land is my land From California To the New York Island From the Redwood Forest To the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me the sun came shining and I was strolling, the wheat fields waving, the dust clouds rolling, the fog was lifting and a voice was chanting, this land was made for you and me, this land is your land, this land is my land, from California the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. As I went walking, I saw a sign there, and the sign it said, no trespassing, but on the other side, it didn't say nothing. That side, that side was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Gulf Stream waters to the Gulf Stream waters. Sorry. This land was made for you and me. We're getting to the controversial verse, and I guess I got nervous. It's not controversial at all. In the shadow of the steeple, I saw my people. In the relief office, I seen my people. And they stood there hungry as I stood there asking. This land was made for you. Was this land made for you? Maybe a little controversial. This land is your land. This land is my land From California To the New York Island From the Gulf Stream water the Gulf Stream water I mess that up? This land was made for you and me One more verse and then we sing the Canadian chorus Nobody living Can ever stop me As I go walking that freedom highway 
Nobody living can ever make me turn back. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From Bonavista to the Vancouver Island, from the Arctic Circle to the Great Lake waters, this land was made for you and me. One more time, this land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. This land was made for you and me. This land was made for you and me. So I ended up making a mess of that one and uh, imagine what I would do with the Star Spangled Banner, folks. So. People laughing about me, I think, in comments. Hey, I deserve it after that, you know. So I'm going to do one more song. This song is kind of a spiritual song, and uh, it's a sort of a, I don't know, it's a positive song. It's just, uh, I love this song. I've sang this. This goes out to all of the train tribe. I sang this so many nights on the, or days and nights on the train and the car, the performance car facing this direction, traveling that direction at 80 miles an hour with a carload of, the most amazing, wonderful people you would ever want to meet in your life, traveling all across the western states. They did some trips in the east, but I was never on those. Uh, from uh, Los Angeles to, we went all the way to New Orleans one time, Chicago, uh, Whitefish, uh, uh, the, the um, um, uh, Glacier National Park, the town there by Glacier National Park, Seattle, uh, Salt Lake City, just everywhere. So um, anyhow... This is a song by, uh, once again, I forgot to get both the writers, like an idiot. But uh, it's a song by the Water Boys, written uh, primarily by Mike Scott, but also with contributions from the fellow that plays the fiddle in the Water Boys. He gets a, a songwriting credit on this also, and well-deserved, and I should know his name and should be saying it, but I, I've forgotten again, and I apologize. So anyhow, this is... Uh, If I ever meet that guy, he's just going to hate my guts. He's just going to like, man, I don't want anything to do with you. Um, this song is called The Fisherman's Blues. I thank you all again for tuning in. Uh, I'll be here again next week. Um, and uh, um, uh, I think in February, uh, let's see how we get through this week. But I think in February, I'll go through to the first and the third Saturdays as I had planned uh, for January, but uh, then the world went crazy and I just kind of felt like, well, I'll come and sing every Saturday night. It's the least I can do, so. So if you know this, sing along. This is the Fisherman's Blues. I wish I was a fisherman Tumbling on the seas Far away from dry land And its bitter memories Casting out my sweet line With abandonment and love No ceilings bearing down on me just the starry skies above with a light in my head and you in my arms Whoa. well i wish i was a brakeman on a hurtling fever train Crashing headlong into the heartland Like a cannon in the rain With the beating of the sleepers And the burning of the cold 
Watching the towns flying by me In a night that's full of soul With a light in my head And you in my arms Whoa. will be loosened from the bonds that hold me fast and the chains all hung around me will all fall away at last and on that fine and fateful day I will take me in my hands and I will ride upon that train and I will be that fisherman with a light in my head and you in my arms. Whoa. With a light in my head and you in my arms. Whoa. With the light in my hand And you in my arms So thank you again for tuning in. Please be careful. It's still very, very dangerous out. We don't go anywhere. We're just like, we've been prisoners in here. Susie's been my prisoner. I've been her prisoner. We don't even know what to do anymore with ourselves, but uh, we're trying to be safe. Please be safe. Wear a mask when you go outside. Um, uh, hope for the best for our country, for our world this week, Wednesday. And uh, we'll see you on Saturday, no matter what. Good night.